Hey, this is Gregory with South Paul Scutati, and I uh, want to do something a little bit different today. Um, I actually have a package, and I wanted to do a little bit of, a, of an unboxing. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so bear with me, um, much like everything else on this channel. Um, and uh, I was planning on having the Lamellar video out this week, but I ended up getting sick, and I'm still recovering from that, so I figured that this would be a nice, fun thing. So. What do I have in here? Um, I have a couple things, uh, but the most exciting thing is a uh, pottery canteen that I had made by Clay Baby Pottery. Um, and they do uh, a whole myriad of different um, archaeological finds and um, art on their own and uh, different, different things that reenactors use. And so, um, really excited to take a look at this and um, let's just dig into it. Um, so this canteen is based off of um, one of several uh, that there have been some fines for. Uh, and the three, three prominent ones uh, that I know of are all 11th century samples and they come from Thebes, uh, Corinth, and Athens. Uh, so they all vary a little bit in what they look like, but I wanted to bring you guys into this process of um, checking out this new fun gear. So just opening it up here, it's really well packed. Okay, that's something else that I'll show you later. And here it is. So. That is fantastic. It's, it is uh, glazed on the inside, so it's safe to, to drink out of. And that's almost exactly um, what we see in the, uh, the Thebes and the Corinth, uh, the canteens. So I'll probably get some uh, cork to, to stop that and um, put some put some uh, cordage on that and that'll be just an integral part of your kit you always need water and um, I think it's, it's something fun you know everyone likes to get, ex get excited about armor and swords and um, the, the flashy parts of reenacting but this is the kind of stuff that really like makes me excited to, to get to experience parts of history that um, are tangible and that you really can like step into that living history portion of, of the hobby um, and really just start doing some of those things that there, there is even as simple as drinking out of a canteen um, that, that someone in the in the 11th century got to do um, so that's that's super cool I like that a lot and this so one of these is a gift for a friend this is a uh, I don't know if this is based on any particular fine, but this is a small um, uh, lamp, small lamp, and it's got little holes for rings or for being held up. It sounds like there's something in there. I'll have to look at that later. Uh, but it's got the Cairo on it, which is a little late for for my period. Um, and then. And then I also have this small uh, little lantern. So um, I think they're, they're fun little things you can put on the desk. I've already already have one. Um, but uh, you just you know, pour some olive oil in there. And uh, as long as you have like a cotton um, wick and it works great. It's fun, it's a cool little thing and it adds just a little bit of touch of that, that lived experience. So it's a nice short video for you guys today, but um, wanted to, to bring it out and to show you. And thank you for joining me. Um, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.